this is a great problem to really practice over and over the chain rule. I, I really like problems like this. So again, when I do a problem, I, I try to look at the whole thing first to see the gist of the problem. Because, you know, when a problem has this many parts, it's going to be kind of repetitive and we got to figure out what they want. So let u of x be differentiable. So all these u's in here are all differentiable. For each of the following functions, determine the derivative. Each response will involve a u and or u prime, which we also know as du dx. Okay, I'm going to use u prime here because it'll make it, it'll, it'll just make it work a little easier according to how we understand the chain rule. So you can see u is either an interior function like it is here, here, and here, but the exterior functions, we have e to the x, we have cotangent, cotangent here, x to the fourth here. So it's just the chain rule over and over and over. So let's just in general write the chain rule. So f prime of x, well, let's not do it that way. Let's say h of x equals f of g of x then h prime of x is equal to f prime times g prime with the original interior in f prime, okay? I just wrote that down for notes. The other thing I'm gonna note is what the derivative of cotangent is, because that's, that's not one that comes up often. So I'm gonna say the derivative with respect to x of cotangent of x is equal to minus cosecant squared of x. Okay. So these are the tools that I'm going to use based on what the problem is asking me to do. So let's cross that out a little more so it doesn't distract us. Okay, so here we go. When I look at part a, I say p prime of x, the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside with the original inside, okay? So I'm gonna go a little faster here. So derivative of the outside, e to the x, times the derivative of the inside, u prime, and I have to put the original interior into the derivative of the outside. Part b, q prime of x. So my outside function is u of x. So the derivative of u of x is u prime. The derivative of the inside, e to the x, is e to the x. And the original inside goes inside here. C, r prime of x. My interior is u, my exterior is cotangent. So I take the derivative of the outside minus cosecant squared, derivative of the inside, u prime, and I put the original interior inside the derivative of the outside. Letter D, S prime of X. Now my outside is U, my inside is cotangent. Derivative of the outside, derivative of cotangent, and the original inside over here. Now, why do I use parentheses here? I didn't use them anywhere else. Well, because that negative sign, the parentheses will automatically apply that that is negative, not subtraction. All right, e, a prime of x. Here, uh, out, u is outside, x to the fourth is inside. So the derivative of the outside, the derivative of the inside with the original inside in the derivative of the outside. Now f is written kind of strange, so I'm gonna rewrite it like this. Might make you feel a little better. So the outside function now is x to the fourth. x to the fourth, the inside function is u prime, or u. So the derivative of the outside, let's see. If the outside here is x to the fourth, the derivative will be 4x to the third times the derivative of the inside, u prime, 
and the original inside inside the derivative of the outside. Now see that see I said the same thing over and over and over for each one of these. And so no matter when you see a derivative that requires a chain rule, you, you make the same thought process regardless of how bad these derivatives are defined. Yeah, sometimes, you know, the inside function is a rational function or sometimes the inside is another chain rule. Just keep track of everything. Keep your writing neat and you should be able to do fine.